Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. If even your allies doubt uh, your potential, then <clears throat> you're in bad shape. What happened? Those uh, Pentagon uh, Intel whatever leaks, which I think uh, most of them uh, should be or are uh, accurate or valid. Why? Because um, Ukraine, for instance, um, adjusted uh, its plans, counteroffensive plans, because of those leaks. That tells me they say, well, shit. We find out that, uh, according to those uh, files, that Washington, the United States, the biggest ally, the promoter of peace uh, in the world, the global promoter of peace, doubts very much the uh, Ukrainian ability of a counteroffensive. Now, if that's the case, then you're in big doo-doo. Remember, uh, this is what we see from about a month, uh, a month ago, I think the leaks are, and uh, we have them right now in April. I wonder what's going on right now. I covered uh, um, Ukrainians' lack of or running out of air defense ammunition in about a week in two of my videos. So the situation is really bad over there for the Ukrainians, unfortunately. And uh, let's see what this article has to say about this new development or, re or a revelation. The Kiev Independent reports on uh, the 11th of April 2023. Washington Post actually says leaked document reveals U.S. doubts about Ukraine's counteroffensive. And believe me, this is not worse uh, than uh, the worst is to come right here in the article. According to U.S. intelligence alleged assessment from one of the poss possibly secret documents said to be leaked. Uh, why do you have to bring all this when you, Ukraine, uh, uh, declared that you altered your counteroffensive plans because of this alleged assessment and blah 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 blah. I mean, can you cut the crap? Ukraine's problem with the accumulation of troops, ammunition and equipment could allegedly lead to its military falling barely well short of Kiev's initial goals for the expected counteroffensive, the Washington Post reported on April 10th. So all these problems with accumulation of troops, with ammunition and equipment could allegedly uh, lead to its military falling well short. Well short, that means don't even try. The reportedly leaked assessment dated by early February warns of considerable, and I'm quoting, force generation and sustainment shortfalls, end quote, and the likelihood that Ukraine's future counteroffensive will result in only modest territorial gains, the Washington Post wrote. The publication called it a, and I'm quoting, marked departure from the White House's public statements about the combat capability of the Ukrainian army. Yes, but they don't fool us, did they? No. They, well, not because we're geniuses, but we know uh, a few things and we went around the block a few times. The U.S. intelligence assessment cited by the Washington Post indicates that Kiev's strategy is to retake territory in the east and push south to cut Russia's land bridge to the occupied Crimea, like they don't have the Kursk bridge anymore. However, Russia, but that could be blown up in an instance, that's true. However, Russia's powerful defensive fortifications combined, combined with enduring Ukrainian deficiencies in training and ammunition supplies will probably strain progress and exacerbate casualties during the offensive, end quote, reads the document. Oops, no, we didn't want that one. Let's go back where we belong, right? The bills, yes. So here, this is something I would like to talk about. Deficiencies in training. Remember that, um, remember that military uh, officer? He was, was a colonel in the Ukrainian army. He was uh, demoted uh, and he was sent to training somewhere uh, behind the, uh, you know, back in, inside uh, Ukraine, not on the front, when he said that w Ukraine lacks um, experienced, uh, trained personnel. He was demoted and sent over there. What did he do? He said, you know what, mother? I quit. 
You don't treat me like that. Now that guy was an honorable man. Why? He didn't say, he didn't tell a, a lie. But he probably did not follow an order, which is keep your zipped. And he didn't. But anyway, he, uh, he said, you know, all or nothing. You don't uh, just uh, discredit me like that. So anyway, um, they lack that. And we knew this. Uh, we talked about, how should I put it? They keep telling us that the Ukrainians have elite troops and they will bring elite troops. They don't have elite troops anymore. First, secondly, they have those 40,000 stormtroopers uh, that now they, they will bring and supposedly they're ready to get in. Those are like, you know, you, you make the wine, you know, you press the wine, the, the grapes, sorry, the grapes, and then whatever, that's the real juice that you're going to use to make wine out of, right? You, you will go through fermentation and so on second fermentation and so on now what other people do they put that that you already pressed they put it back into water and then they put it back and they press it again so the juice is gonna be as you can imagine very watery so that's exactly what these guys have with their very watery um, um, new stormtroopers the 40,000 that they talk about they will be all the fats and uglies and all those guys are gonna die for what for other people's interest, unfortunately. You'll see. So uh, they're trying to squeeze something that was already squeezed five times. Uh, and uh, yeah, they don't have personal ammunition. The West cannot compete and doesn't want to compete. Uh, it has its problems with, uh, with inflation and uh, the economy is going nose down, uh, dive, you know, and the, the banking system is hitting the road. So they have bigger problems than supporting a Ukraine war uh, supported by some elites and some big, big interest, if you know what I mean. So um, yeah, I think these are accurate. And what's going to happen next? The Russians steady, steadily will uh, move westward like they have been doing. Yeah, they stalled here and there. Yes, they were stopped. Yes, yes, yes. But it's, it's going to be broken. It's going to be broken, the whole resistance, unfortunately. And I feel sorry uh, for the Ukrainian nation and from the Ru for the Russian nation. I'm sorry, because they are used. They are used, especially the Ukrainians, for biggest, bigger interests. Money, interest and the geopolitical games. And unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, I don't even know how to take it. I mean, I know, but uh, uh, the Russians uh, are still uh, fighting for their territory, their culture, their traditions, their whatever you want to say. They're not, uh, as they're portrayed, you no know, hyenas, uh, just because they're Russians. And uh, these uh, guys, some of them, uh, paint them uh, since uh, whatever, that that's the way they are and they want to invade and they want to conquer the world and their imperialistic power and blah, blah. Well, it might be more or less. But then why don't you look in the mirror first, you know, before you accuse, you know, as uh, Eric Clampton said, uh, before you accuse me, take a look at yourself. So here you go. Or if you want to use the Bible, uh, it's up to you. I don't care. Anyway, here it is, my friends. I think Ukrainians will not have a counteroffensive. And if they will have a counteroffensive, it's going to be a minuscule counteroffensive. I hope this thing all stops as it is. And, uh, you know, uh, somehow things get solved. How it gets solved? I think Ukraine should should be or will be as long as the Russians still have power, they will not allow uh, Ukraine to be part of NATO, have uh, American military located over there or NATO in, uh, infrastructure over there and all that and people that would uh, promote, let's say, hatred towards other entities. Not like uh, anybody else uh, is quiet and all that, but I'm just saying they will not allow that. And the West, little by little, will have to cooperate with Russia because Russia has big resources. And uh, the Europeans, if they want to keep their economies uh, roaring, or not economies, industries that kind of lack nowadays, they need those resources, including to turn on the light and, uh, you know, heat their houses, drive their cars and all that. Unless they decide to ride bicycles, use, uh, I don't know, candles and uh, use a lot of old sheep uh, skins. All right. And that's, a, that's an option. Remember, own nothing and be happy, Mr. Schwab. Yeah, that, that's, that's keep that in the back of, the of your head. 
keep, as I do, keep it over there and look how things go towards that. They ask us to, be, to consume less, to live our life a little bit less, to not do that, not do that, just get smaller and so on. If possible, just stay inside your house, consume, consume from your house, work if you can from your house, order people to bring you groceries and all that. This is what they want. They watch TV all the time if you can. I don't want to live like that. I don't want to live like that. And unfortunately, they don't want to live like that. They want us to live like that. Why? Uh, we are too independent. When you're independent, they can't really tell you what to do. Like, like this, you depend on them. There's going to be another pandemic. I'm, uh, I'm expecting that if they didn't uh, already triggered and other things there's going to be a new mandates and all that i foresee these things why because we are human and uh it's very easy to predict uh, our behavior uh, under certain kind of circumstances more or less but uh, we all go to the same thing pleasure versus displeasure once you know what a person likes you know how that person will most likely act in that circumstance yeah we have values we have principles we have this and that but they go out the window once we got the power why you know that say oh give someone uh, power and see uh, who he is exactly not that oh money changed emil not money changed emil money just showed who emil really is if you know what i mean i gave myself an example because i don't subtract myself out of uh, human nature obviously is how much we resist temptation and we have to form certain kind of uh, an environment, you know, checks and balances that you can you know, have people check and, you know, uh, control others, not control, but keep them in check. Otherwise, don't think about the philosopher king of Plato's and Socrates and so on. No, 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 no. We have philosopher kings uh, many times and uh, uh, we know how that ended up or how he ended up. Thank you very much for uh, being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.